Tell me what's going on on the screen behind me, but we are in the time of year where walking the dog or hitting the fishing hole could come down with a lowdown encounter. We're talking snakes, and for some of us, me included, the warnings about protecting certain snakes require a whole lot of trust, but for more dangerous snakes, Jeff Zavelli calls in some wranglers for ideas on what to do. The best way to save a snake is to learn how to handle the real thing. I truly feel they're the underdog in nature. Bruce Ireland has been on a one-man crusade saving snakes. You don't have to kill them. Uh, you may not know that much about snakes. You may not understand them. And yes, yeah, some of them are dangerous. But that doesn't mean we should go out and just indiscriminately kill them. Shedding that outdated belief led Bruce to create the snake wranglers. To get to the point where we're finally actually training firemen is... I can't even sleep at night building up to this, if I'm being really honest with you. And this is a snake we literally got in the last 30 minutes. And 21 no volunteers right. are now showing firefighters no, a new skill. Can I take a step backwards for me? Yeah, yeah, it's trying to move. Do you want me to help you? No, I'd like to take a step backwards. Even if they make your skin crawl, snakes are an important part of the ecosystem. Almost all of them are exclusively rodent eaters. And to be really honest, rodents carry a lot more deadly disease than any of the snakes do. I gotta softly go ahead and grab the snake. For those thinking firefighters have enough on their plates. Firefighter safety is always a priority when we go on any call. But Battalion Chief Jim Mickelson from the Rancho Santa Fe Fire Protection District told us his firefighters were willing to add rattlesnakes to their dangerous to-do list. The way we've been conducting business in the past, shall I say, doesn't necessarily fulfill our commitment to protecting the environment but we were able to develop a policy that allows us to safely capture snakes of all kinds, transport them back to the fire station and then call snake wranglers who we're partnering with and they will relocate them back out into the environment away from people and their homes. Oh, we got a live snake down. Bruce told the crew if they see something like this, a five foot snake wrapped around a dog's snout, they can call the snake wranglers directly. If you don't mind just stepping back. But with this training, firefighters can handle most any call. Big snake, head goes in first, he's around a little bit. Could training like this spread nationwide? Our hope is that this is exactly what happens. Firefighters are heroes, but even Bruce was impressed with their courage to face a new danger. These are live, wild rattlesnakes that some of these guys have never faced, and they're facing them, and they're doing it with bravery. Okay, so when the firefighters asked right. me to try... Hey, how you doing, hey, sir? Hey, Did you call the Zevely Zone? What do you got on your hands here? I, I buried my own fear. Beautiful creature here. And wrangled a rattlesnake, too. Nice and easy into the bucket. In the Zevely Zone... This is a snake-safe right. space. You're all set. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Thanks for saving snakes. Hey, man.